Tell us how you wound up here. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm, <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm fortunate to be here, though. I'm glad to be here. Um, you know, uh, obviously, I, my rights were with Hamilton, and they were doing some negotiation, negotiation and things of that nature. So there was a lot of teams I was hearing. Uh, BC, you know, Ottawa a little bit in here, Saskatchewan, but no Winnipeg. So um, I was sitting, you know, playing Call of Duty at the house, and, you know, my agent calls me and was like, hey, uh, it's not official yet, but you're going to Winnipeg. He was like, just don't tell anybody because if you do, you don't want Twitter blowing up and something fall through or, or things of that nature. And uh, I got a call from um, the director of ops, I'm assuming, and sent over my information and things of that nature. Got it done pretty quickly. Fortunately, I had a, a printer and a fax machine at the house, so I was able to send it back right away. And uh, we flew up yesterday, man. So, you know, obviously my first time coming from the U.S., I had to fill out the declaration form and things of that nature. It took me like 30 minutes. Went back and forth like eight times, but man, everything worked out and uh, I'm excited to be here right now. Do you have a contract in place? I was speaking with your, your Canadian representation yesterday and saying it's just a practice roster agreement right now. You don't have any one year plus a team option next year. No, sir. It's just all practice right now. And to be honest, that's all I'm really worried about right now. Um, you know, obviously, I just want to come in and learn and and try to pick up the offense as fast as possible. And at the same time, just learn the Canadian game. I mean, for me, it's a lot different. And, uh, you know, to sit in that meeting room in that locker room and just watch it on film, it kind of like uh, wows you a little bit. But then you step out here and it's just football. So once I kind of get in the groove of figuring out everything, it should be fine. Taj, what are your expectations for yourself? Do you want to dress? Do you want to play this year? What's your mindset in looking forward? Um, you know, obviously, I, I would like to come out here and, and play and perform at a high level. but. For right now, I mean, it's really day by day and just taking it as, as quickly as I can and, you know, sitting back here a little bit later and, and studying a little bit with the coach and trying to grasp everything. And, you know, Coach O'Shea got a chance to meet him earlier. He's a special person, man. So obviously I feel like this area is a great place. Um, didn't realize it was right here in the middle of, like, the university. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, it's a lot, lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. So, you know, um, again, man, I'm just excited to be a Blue Bomber. And uh, hopefully this will be something that could be, you know, for the next few years and we go out here and just make something special happen. Think your skills are suited for this game? Uh, absolutely, man. You know, I don't know. I watch documentaries. That's what I do, you know. So to watch Warren Moon and Doug Flutie, obviously, like anybody that plays quarterback, that's who they aspire to be like in this game, to set the marks that they did and, and to play at the standard that they did. And at the same time, I mean, just gain the, the trust and respect of their teammates. Um, so I don't, I don't come in here with – you know, this high of expectation or this big head or anything of that nature because at the end of the day, it's just like you're a rookie all over again. So you got to earn your stripes, you got to earn your keep, and that's just what I'm trying to do. How would you describe your style? I don't know. Um, whatever it takes, more or less. Um, you know, that's kind of been my, the way I played my whole life. You know, I don't want to go out there and get killed every play trying to get the first down, but if that's what we got to do to win the game, that's what, that's what I try to do. Um, love to throw the ball deep. It's my thing, you know, I feel like... Hmm. You know, I'm one of the strongest deep ball throwers in the world. You know, that's just, you know, my look at it. But at the same time, um, I feel like the ball comes out quick. That's why I feel like it translates to this game a little bit because I'm able to move, feel like the ball comes out quickly, and uh, I should be able to go out there and, and just have some fun with it.